Okay, well we're here today to uh, demonstrate the potential collaboration between a composer and a player, specifically a guitarist. My name is Tim Hewling. I teach in the film scoring department. Uh, I write music for film and other media, and uh, I'm here with my esteemed colleague, David Tronzo. Thank you, Tim. I'm David Tronzo. I'm in the guitar department, and um, uh, in my career I did a fair amount of session work, um, which included a lot of film work of different types. Uh, some of that involved um, full out improvisation, some of that involved charts, uh, very specific parts. And we're going to, in this demo today, um, demonstrate a range of things from uh, a variety of approaches to dry passes on the chart, uh, various effects that will be printed, um, some experimentation with some different things, and uh, yeah. we'll make uh, uh, what it'll do is it'll give Tim, the composer, an opportunity to pick and choose later. Um, but first, you know, we're going to try to get all the written material down on the uh, in the recording, um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, exactly. So process-wise, the idea is I wrote this cue for some hypothetical movie, and um, I mocked it up using um, a quote-unquote fake instruments, a fake guitar sample, and. I'm lucky enough to come into the studio with a great player to uh, replace the fake guitar with real guitar. <laughs> and then, um, so we use uh, basically some of the effects that um, I create or you know put together w during my mock-up process are quote unquote in the box. And then we also have everything we can do here in the room mm -hmm. and we'll put all that together, um, including some experimentation and, and collaboration. So. And I uh, just want to say also before we start that today we decided that um, for various reasons we're going to use an acoustic guitar that's running through the amp uh, for the demo purposes. It's running through effects. It's also there's a direct that's going to a guitar rig. And we just want to um, note that um, uh, a variety of instruments are also encouraged uh, in the sessions coming up with the students uh, that most of the guitar players will be bringing electric guitar and uh, there is available to them the acoustic steel string, the nylon, but today we probably will limit ourselves to this for most cool. of the demo. Great. Okay. Uh, now when this track begins, question, uh -huh. uh, is the click um, in the bar with the pickup, is that what I'll be hearing? Yes, yeah, so you'll hear, uh, I think it's two free to the first complete bar, so you'll hear a bar of click, click. and then three more beats. Gotcha. And then in. Great. I think that's what I do. So we're going to start by uh, recording the melody on this. zero. Okay, cool. So another another approach would be to then take uh, take the guitar rig uh, plug-in set settings that I created and run into those. So let's I think we might as well which is going to be a whole other world. 
One thing I'd like is, as you used the word bite, and I, I think I'd like to have this with even more bite to it, almost like it's angry. Got some. Can we wah wah pedal it a little? Let's bit? try it. This might be fun. It's fun. <laughs> Let's do a pass. Okay, here's bar zero. gives me several versions of this melody to play around with later, uh -huh. some of which I can actually uh, manipulate with guitar rig after the fact even further. Yeah. So I've got lots of options now. Uh, so let's move on to, I guess, chords one. Okay. The second line there. And which of these versions of the melody do you want playback? Um, probably, um, let's see. <laughs> Good question. Well, let's just for the sake of the demo, yeah. let's review how many melodies we actually have. We have half a dozen there. Or? We have a dry pass, right. right, of the melody in the original octave. Yeah. Two takes. Exactly. And then we have a distorted pass. Mm -hmm. I think distorted out here. Distorted out here. Right. And before that, we did the guitar rig. Um, well, there's a yeah, there's a guitar rig guitar with a rig. high pass with pick. Right. A low one with slide. High one with slide. Exactly. So there's this big Yeah, this range. whole array, and I can even mix and match later. Let's go with high slide as what we listen to Ooh. while we're tracking. Now, the chords that we're talking about here need right. no distortion, less distortion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very, very little distortion, if any, and very. Um, the original concept was that they're very wet. They almost right. sound like they're from a distance. <laughs> going to start with the amp, correct? Yes, please. Yeah. Just hold on one sec. Brain, please work. <laughs> now, can we get a sound that's a, a little less warm? Um, uh, kind of, it might even just be, a, you know, how you're on the instrument itself. Like, it's got a lot of warm, kind of low mids in it, and I'm wondering about... You want it in the same register, right? In the same but yeah. you want it a little brighter. Yeah, maybe something like that. Just picked, yeah, closer okay. to the bridge. Right. Yeah, let's try that. Let me just review. Let's 
try one. Cool. Here's bar zero. And so, I'm sorry, hold on one sec. Bar zero, that means I'm going to have eight clicks before exactly. that. Yeah. Got it. Yes, thanks. Here we go, eight clicks. Shall we just One punch chord. in for the last two chords? We then? could. So uh, basically for bars eight, eight to the end. That'd be great. Six for eight or right on eight? Um, let's do, uh, yes. So we'll the clicks will start at bar six yep. and you're in at bar eight. So you have a two four and then a four four before oh. you come in. Yeah. Like a bar and a half of warning clicks. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Okay, here's bar six for eight. So another idea, especially as part of this collaboration process, would be to say, you know, let's have you do a version of this where we have a similar concept of arpeggiating okay. up through these chords, but um, you choose the voicings okay. that you think are tasty I have for the moment. a few ideas here. Okay. I kind of was thinking about. So let me just think about this for two seconds. So there's a couple of things I'd like to do. One is a pass with sort of arpeggiated chords that are going to sound like this. And then it's going to be uh, and then I'm going to go cool. to something like that. Let's try it out. And just to clarify, we're still on the amp. Yeah. Yeah, we're still on the amp. Yeah. And then, then there's, there's two of these I'd like to do. They're a little different. Let's see how far we get now. Just give me one sec. Uh, there we go. All set. Cool. Let's try it. Here we go, bar zero. Yeah, yeah. In fact, what I was going to say, I love those ideas. Um, hypothetically, for the scene, I might, you know, specifically need the one and two hold and one and two in terms of the rhythm. Okay. And and have that very last bar be just a held chord, no movement. But otherwise, a really cool idea. So that eighth note, quarter note. Yeah. Feeling. Yeah. Exactly. still want eight clicks or would you like just four? You know, four would be fun. <laughs> See if my brain can adjust. Okay, here's four clicks in. 
Thank you. So I love those ideas, and you know, one of the things I really like is what you did in bar five. Except I feel like maybe it's not right for the scene that it gets by going a little higher and getting a little brighter. So we need to go down. Yeah. So maybe a different idea for you know that F sharp minor six nine. But you don't want it to. Kind of in the same range. as One more pass? So I guess, yeah, should we just do the whole thing again? We can do that. Could we? Yeah, cool. Four, four clicks in. Yeah, we're gonna see if this works. Okay, here we go, four clicks.